So you probably have seen the titles, the news that are happening uh, last week in the film industry. Seems to be that Fuji is once again discontinuing some film stocks. And this here is actually Fuji Velvia 50. I had a 5x7 box of Fuji Velvia 50 in one of my boxes. It actually has FP4 um, at N uh, for black and white development. I reuse boxes, guys. You should reuse boxes. But it seems once again Fuji is pulling one of the two film stocks from the market. Uh, Velvia 50 in sheet sizes, 4x5, 8x10, <coughs> which were the remaining ones. And... Uh, uh, Fuji 160, uh, I want to say NS, not NS, you know which one, uh, the muted color 160 uh, from the film stocks. This is no surprise to everybody, we all know Fuji's been slowly discontinuing uh, film and this video is not to bring the news so much as to give my point on the whole uh, Fuji thing and I've made a video about 400H when they actually discontinued and I was curious to see if I actually had made one about Fuji and the state of Fuji uh, but it seems I haven't so this is going to be a bit of a blend between them this is an opinion video no super film support today guys I thought I should do this a bit more than the other video so <clears throat> Fuji's been discontinuing films back and forth and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, one of them is that Fuji uh, successfully um, divided its company from being Fuji film only to doing a ton of things. And uh, that was their, basically their win. Uh, they've made um, cosmetics, they are making medicine, medical stuff, pharmaceutical stuff, they're making digital cameras, they're making so many things, but film has become a, around 1 to 1.5 percent of their sales annually and that is not a lot and they have of course seen that the trend for film is coming back up but it's not so easy to just like change the politics you know the internal the working of a company to make film again like Kodak has. Kodak remember basically doesn't do much more than film uh, most of the stuff Kodak is doing under Kodak's name is basically giving permission to third parties to put their name on anything and everything. I've seen from uh, selfie lights for video from Kodak to Kodak film cases which are not made by Kodak, Kodak scanners which are not made by Kodak and so on. So you know what I mean. It's basically turned into almost an empty name in the household realm. But Fuji hasn't. Fuji has successfully opened to a bunch of other businesses and doing really 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 well uh, in that realm and their film has always been one of the best ones out there the Fuji uh, Velvia 50 is one of the favorite films for landscape photographers but what they have been doing is kind of like some weird strategy they've been cutting it out of certain markets making it hard for people to buy it and then justifying oh wait we can't sell this because it's not selling well or can't find raw materials the raw material part funny enough is probably one of the only true things about this whole discontinuation is that Fuji can't maybe source all the materials but it's funny because Velvia 50 will still be available in 35 and 120 uh, but it won't be available in 4x5 and 8x10 but Velvia 50 in 35 and 120 uh, medium format has been available at stores like B&H or the US or Europe for a while though yes the price is really high but the, it's been available but the sheet film has only been available in Japan which made everybody have to buy from Amazon Japan. There's been videos from Alan Brock and other people about how to buy Fuji Velvia 50 in Japan. And I know Ben Horn and other people like that have their freezers full stocked of this stuff. But it was a pain. It was a pain for a lot of people to buy. People won't buy films if they have to source them from strange places that, yes, Japan's not strange, but you know what I mean. It's not at your normal store, you can't carry it, uh, so on. So it becomes an issue. And with that, the 160 also color negative film that I've never seen in Europe in years. Last time I saw it was in the UK maybe five years ago and it's pretty much gone. So now that it's canceled, it's uh, basically no more uh, 120 pro film in color negative. And yes, 400H was what we said was the last one, but this 160 uh, NS I think is the name is was available uh, from Japan at least uh, for some stores. So yeah, they discontinued it and it's sad, but 
before people jump on the Fuji not film, the Fuji is abandoning in film and all this, do consider that Fuji, like I've said many times before, could just click their fingers and that's it, no more film, only keep their Instax film and that's it. They don't have to justify to anyone in the market. They don't have to justify it to me, to stores, to I don't care what photographer, Ken Rockwell loves Velvia 50. It doesn't have to justify anything to anybody. It can just snap its fingers and gone, but they still choose to maintain Provia in the market. Uh, Velvia 50 and 135 and 120, uh, their color negative film that's like entry level, which I know there's not a lot left over, but they're still making or selling that film. And that's the question is a lot of people also say there's rumors that Fuji has had master rolls deep free frozen uh, in the deep freezer and are cutting them to different sizes and stuff. It might be true, but I don't think it would impact Fuji greatly to just say, you know what, scrap that film and let's just say there's no more film. I have a hard time believing that. Same as you should go and ask your lab of choice that you are sending your film in or you're developing in your local town and ask them what chemistry they're using. They're most probably using Fuji or Fuji Hunt chemistry. And that's the scariest part to me is not that Fuji will discontinue film, which is okay. I mean, we've got other alternatives. We have Ektachrome for slide, thankfully now we have uh, black and white film from Ilford or Fuji, I mean, sorry, Ilford or Kodak or Adox. Uh, you know, anybody is making black and white film. Uh, Ferrania is still doing stuff. And then we have color for Portra and so on, which puts this puts a lot of pressure onto Kodak, which is already understaffed and under, you know, uh, capacity. Like they cannot keep up with capacity. But like, if Fuji does discontinue their chemistry, then, then is the real day that color film will suffer. When many labs don't have access to chemistry, when your local lab can't put, you know, their your C41 Portra push through stops or, you know, overexposed through stops into the mini labs and have their film developed in seven minutes like most Noritsus do, uh, it's gonna be a major problem. And the fact that they've kept it so long and still keep producing it, it to me is a wonder and makes me scratch my head and think, why does Fuji keep making these products? Uh, is it because they still have Fuji film in their name? Is it because they are uh, still making film and they will make it? They still make E6 chemistry too. Uh, this is what I don't understand. If they want out, they can go out. They could have gone out, but why are they not out? And if they do, who will step in? Because with every product, there's always a market and there's always someone that can maybe step in, but film photography is not so simple as snapping your fingers and Kodak makes E6 chemistry in, in Rochester and ships it to every mini lab around the world, or Kodak does C41 chemistry for mini labs and you know everybody can get it. We already know that Tetanol was tied to Kodak that because they went bankrupt and then they did some management, you know, remanagement and came back as that new Tetanol. Uh, HD 110 has changed, Extol has changed. Uh, what else is, Dectol has had some issues, quality problems and so on. So there are always more things than just like saying, oh, Fuji doesn't support film, they're just walking away. Fuji could walk away. And when Polaroid uh, went bankrupt, Fuji kept their FP 100C for years, probably, uh, yeah, like a decade more. and they still produced it when nobody else had it and they're making the insects which yes you like it or not is still uh you know quality control is better than polaroid originals or polaroid or impossible project any of that stuff so as much as we like to dislike companies uh it seems that we should appreciate what they've done so far and what they've kept doing for so long i'm grateful i'll buy fuji stock if that's what i feel like shooting i am not much of a shoot uh, fuji shooter not because i don't like the brand just because i usually don't like the film that i'm going to shoot with i'm not a slide guy and uh they're black and white i love neopan 400 and when they discontinued that i kind of had a hard time for a while and the 1602 neopan was my favorite black and white film but yeah like we should think about how we talk about companies and how we see things because it brings uh, not so much what Fuji's not going to care. They don't care that you say Fuji, not film, that you only buy Kodak or you only buy Ilford or you only buy uh, Lomography. They don't care. But the newcomers that are coming into film, when they see that negativity, that's way more harmful than Fuji leaving film. Like 
it brings people to think, you know, hateful. And one thing that's been awesome about the film community in the last decade is the community part, like where we've been helpful, where we've been showing people how to shoot film, how to expose film, how to use a camera, how to shoot large format, how to develop, how to do the zone system, anything like that. I've always encountered people that were uh, willing to take, you know, their time out of their day to explain me these things. And that's why I created this YouTube channel and showed people as much as I can about film. I have a super film support, which is on Mondays, and I do the news on Tuesdays and so on is because I wanted to give back to the community that's given me so much. When I read all these people about Fuji and what they're doing and how horrible it is, it's just take a step back. Is that being beneficial to the community at all? Mentioning those things, saying those things like that. And it's always also something that I think is a bit of jealousy or anger. Uh, and it is angry, like an anger thing because I get angry that they discontinue film. but it's not gonna change anything that I'm angry, that I mention that I'm angry, that I say it in a video, that I start posting Fuji Not Film, it doesn't make a difference. And it's just so sad to see how people get angry. And also, do remember, when film companies are doing well and wanna leave film, good for them, in the sense that they did well. I'm glad that Fuji Film cameras are doing well, that the beauty products, pharmaceuticals are doing well. That's good for the company, you know, people that work there. I hate to see when things go bankrupt. Like when Kodak went bankrupt, it was a really hard moment for me. When Technol went bankrupt, I think I almost cried on a video here because I knew the people. So like, let's be happy that maybe a brand can evolve maybe into different segments. It stings like hell, but it is something we should be happy. And we shouldn't all be happy just because they go bankrupt. Like that's when people are like, oh, and then we throw our hands on our head and we're like, oh, they went bankrupt, that's so sad. I'd rather they slowly leave the film market than one day there's no C41, there's no E6, there's no slide film in 4x5 or 8x10 or in 35 and 120, there's nothing. And that's why I will always have that positive thought towards Fuji and everything they've done. I've had some great memories, I still have great memories on Fujifilm uh, FP100C and so on all around my house. And I will always remember that and I keep boxes to remember what they were and hopefully maybe one day we'll see them reintroducing things who knows kodak did it came out with a new slide nobody thought it would and they they are fighting for you know the good fight but don't forget that like we need all the players we need more players if possible so don't bring hate into it don't become that person on the community i think it's very important not to do that so yeah that's my little video for today uh, as always sorry for the extra rambling I shot it very differently, wide angle, lens is just there, and uh, one light. I didn't want to go too fancy. Um, but yeah, the news will be here tomorrow. Of course, this will be part of the news, but I won't be giving my opinion so much as I did on this video. Uh, just enjoy film, enjoy the community, share, send a roll to someone, introduce them to film photography, show them the beauty of it, and not the nasty part of the community that I don't, you know, I don't support and I don't identify myself with that negativity. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a good day and see you in the next video.